All right, here we go. Mob James, welcome back. Man, glad to be back, Vlad. Oh, yeah. You were one of our biggest guests Man, of last you year. You know what? That shocked me. I, I, I sent that little, little clip with everybody that you had on there. So I think it was from 1 to 10, 1 to 7. And my family was like, yeah, right. Where you do this at? What you mean where I do it at? 13 million? And I said, 13 million plus uh, watch, uh, watch Vlad and saw me. And I was like, wow. They was like, damn. So, I mean, the numbers are public. I mean, you could just go to YouTube and well, see. Well, you the know, numbers. my family don't. don't <laughs> that. You know, my family, since I started talking, just, you know, first started talking, they was like, you know, they don't see nothing in that. I didn't see nothing in that. But speaking on, you know, Glad to talk. Let me let all of this out of me. So for them to see that, it was it was like a confirmation. You know, my family is actually like proud of the shit that I'm doing right now today, and and I appreciate you for for, for man that opportunity because I don't think if I would have did Vlad, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. You know, I did Greg Kading, but Vlad put me right there you know what i'm saying after doing you then i get uh norman steel a phone call from him he don't know me from nowhere and and here i am doing a podcast for a year you know what i'm saying so and it's doing good and and i didn't believe in that and this is the first time i ever did that so and it's doing real good so i appreciate you well yeah you got the gangster chronicles podcast yeah uh which i watch uh well i listen to every episode do you yeah, every okay, episode. Okay. Yeah. I think we'd be having some good stuff in Yeah, there. I can show you my, my Spotify. You'll see there's, you know, wow. every episode has been listened to, uh, at least mostly through it. Right. Um, you know, you do that with Alex Alonzo uh, and Reggie Wright Jr., yeah, who's currently yeah. incarcerated. Yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about all that. Yeah. And uh, you actually had a, a whole tour in Australia that you did. Yeah, loved it. Loved it. Never been treated... The way I was treated out there in my life, those those people are beautiful. You know, I seen stuff that I wish we had here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the food was was healthy. Uh, the the people out there, their skin was clear. You didn't see obesity. You seen everybody is in the gym. Everybody is walking. Everybody gets along with everybody. So. And every city I went to, it was the same way. Same way. It was just a beautiful place, man. That was your first time out of the country? Ever. Ever? Yeah. And you went to the farthest possible Australia. country, the 14-hour flight? Man, I didn't believe the, the flight is what got me because that was a long time up in the air. I was scared as, as, as all I dozed with that one because I didn't know what to do up there all that time. And then uh, <clears throat> trying to sleep, I couldn't. Then I didn't want to drink, and then I just started watching TV, man. I was picking the longest shows. I watched Shazam like maybe five times because it was like two and a half, three hours long. So if I get past this, I'm almost there. Right. So I worked it out, man, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I want to go back. Well, you actually had kind of a, a situation in Australia. Yeah. With a white woman. Oh my God! Go ahead and explain it. Man, we were we were doing the show, and we was talking. So now we just talking to the audience and everything. This lady just well, previously I was talking to her. She had her son there, which was a mixed kid, and uh, she was showing me pictures of her, his daddy, you know, in a casket and all of this. And I mean, she was cool, you know, just general conversation. So during the show, she just, you know, too many drinks, I guess. And she was just, I got a question. And, and you know, Greg was like, one second, let them finish. No, let her talk. So when I said that, she said, why is it, how, how, how did we get an uh, ex-cop and a nigger and the whole artist blew up? I didn't have to do nothing. I didn't have to say nothing. It just, I mean, everybody got up and 
No, she fucking didn't. No, she fuck. You got to get the fuck out. They was ready to beat her up. I said, she got a right to her opinion. Y'all don't, no, don't touch her. Don't touch her. And no and behold, they put her ass out of there. Told her to go. You and your son, you got to go. Well, she showed you a picture of her husband in a casket. In a casket. Who shows pictures like this? this she was crazy. <laughs> you and, know what I'm and, saying? Like, but at the like, whole but, <laughs> Vlad, the hey, whole time. Let, me, let me tell you about my my dad. Here's a picture of him in his casket. Like, what? Who, who does this? What type she, of she, sane my baby person? Daddy, all my kids are, are are mixed, and and I'm, you know I'm I'm just conversating. You know, she bought two shirts. I signed the shirts. Um, when she did the, the the nigga thing, all these white people jumped up. All of these people got up and and was ready to have at her. And I was like, no, she got a right to her opinion. I can't, I can't unfold at this point. I'm, I'm way out here. So I can't get the, oh, you stupid bitch. I can't, I can't do none of that stuff. So I let them handle it. And they, and man, I was shocked. I was like, man, wow, really? For uh, me? This actually reminds me, it's kind of funny that it, this kind of sprung in my mind, but just uh, yesterday, there was a uh, a video that we posted of a white rapper, you know, like a battle rapper doing yeah. a freestyle where he... Use the N-word. Let me go ahead and play it for you here. What reaction did he did he expect from that? What reaction did he expect from that? I mean, I don't feel sorry for him. No. I'm actually kind of annoyed he kind of looks like me. <laughs> He's no. kind of bearded and everything. No, no. I don't want anyone running up on me thinking I'm this well, guy. Well, I mean, <laughs> some people are just, just stupid like that. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're rapping and you're in a battle rap, you think you can use a choice of words like that? No, you, 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 you got to be smart and think. It might be repercussion with these black guys in here feeling a certain kind of way. You know what I'm saying? Which... I, I take it personal, but we call each other nigga every day. But when a white man said or a white person said, it's, it's wrong. We know where we come from. We know why they use the word, but, I mean, it is what it is. Some, I mean, he shouldn't have said that, man. <laughs> no, I don't feel sorry for him for what no. happened to him. Uh, he should have seen that. And he coming. just got chin checked. Yeah, he walked away from that. Yeah, he have got his whoop <laughs> around us. I mean, were you really insulted when that woman said that? Kinda, cause she used the hard R and everything. Yeah, mm. it, w it was. It, you know, she took me by surprise because all of these people, how they treat you, and then when she said that, I'm looking like, whoa. Now, is this what these people really want to say to me? But when they attacked her, it gave me, like, okay, I'm cool, so I don't have to trip. So it worked out real good. 